Hey, what's up, everybody? Back at you with another reaction, review, whatever it's called. Going to do something different. I've been on the hunt to find a good NBA young boy song, and I have not found a good song yet, but I've been talking a lot of trash about him. So I want to get to know him more as a person because I, I will stand by this. I must just be missing something, and I'm here to find out. So please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to join me on my young boy journey and much other things. And uh, let's dive into this at home with NBA young boy interview that he did with Complex. All right, let's dive into it. We traveled to film an episode of Complex Closets in NBA young boy in Utah where he's been on house arrest. He's been on house arrest since 2021. He had no other plans. Hey, that's the, that's the, I, at least he has his own car. That's the Lambo I just saw in some terrible video I just watched where he's at the ER for some reason. And we have no idea why he's at the ER. I guess it's a good use of his time if he's at the ER shooting a music video because what else would you be doing? And I saw that, uh, I saw that Bentley and Wolf cry. Hey, let's do it, bitch. You know, great digging, mom. I don't want to do too much talking or rub me the wrong way. I'm going to treat you with the most respect you, ever. <laughs> Make y'all self at home. You're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you, man. This interview ain't going to be like no other interview. Keep it. <laughs> like, is he serious? Hold up. <laughs> Make y'all Hey, right, let's do it, bitch. A-N <laughs> word. Let's do it, bitch. You're on grave digging, mom. You're on grave digging. I don't want to do too much talking. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's the worst. Oh, I forgot. I got to put on my, my young boy helmet. Because I want the full experience. Because I can't, unfortunately, I can't watch this on a short bus and lick the windows, but... I can wear this so I can get the full young boy experience of what most is diehard fans, how they experience it. So let's go. Don't rub me the wrong way. I'm going to treat you with the most respect. He just came out and called him the N word, which these people probably aren't even black. And then, uh, which by the way, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know. Like if a white person calls me the N word, I might just punch him too, because like they just shouldn't be saying that in general. And plus like, why are you calling me that? That's an ugly ass word. Don't be saying that. And uh, so yeah, and then he called. So he he called some white people the n word, and then uh, he he said, "Let's do it, bitch. Don't rub me the wrong way." And then I'ma treat you with the most respect. Holy, it's gonna take me forever to get through this video, dude. Make y'all self at home. You gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. This interview ain't gonna be like no other interview. Yeah, I can tell. Keep the camera rolling 24 seven, my friend. Thank it's you. nice to meet y'all. Let's, let's get off into some shit. I met, I met. Is he getting drug tested while he's on probation? I mean, he's he's obviously losing his mind. I mean, this poor guy, he would, if he's been on house arrest since 2021, so we had to do the COVID lockdowns and he's been on house arrest since then. So this dude hasn't been out of the house in that long. Crazy. I met you before. We did sneaker shopping. Do you remember? How are you, brother? <laughs> Good to see you. Do you remember? I, remember you I got a bad memory. It was okay. nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you again. He's. Whoa. He actually, I mean, he seems like a pretty nice kid, you know? He seems like a nice kid, but he's probably just pigeonholed himself into this gangster category where he can't do anything else. And he probably, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm very torn on this guy. I feel bad for him. But then I also find it hilarious. He might be on the spectrum in some ways. There's something, there's something. He's either demonic or on the spectrum. This is the first time since like the Supreme collaboration. You're such a big brand. What was it like that collaboration? I don't know if you saw it, like New York and LA, all the posters of you and like kids ripping down the posters. It's just like a collector's item. What was it like? Having that collaboration, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. But shit, I'm still down for the shit today. I ain't, I ain't never had one myself. How do you not have the shirt though? I thought that they would give like. They just never sent them to me. 
did you see like it sell out though and see how the response to it did you see it like online yes uh, and were you a fan of supreme before yeah that's crazy i was a very supreme you know when i was this thing to such actually collect on do you put it up there in terms of like one of your best things? look wait, wait, he's got a, a triple cup so i'm gonna assume it's muddy and is, when you're on probation, you don't get drug tested, especially in Utah. What did he do in Utah? Who gets in trouble in Utah? I guess if there's a place to get in trouble, it would be Utah because you can't do anything there. Besides have like 10 wives. Fashion moments. This man needs help. Shame on everybody in his circle, dude. What a beautiful place, though. Come on, let me talk to my nails. Keep your nails done, bitch. <laughs> I can't, dude. I know I shit done so much that you still have point for the mother. I thought he was about to say something, you know, inspirational about staying in school and getting good grades but and like making sure to wear your helmet on the bus and they said he's called you a bitch and told you to get your nails done a lot of you're gonna be like oh my god young boy he hates his fans dude when it's impromptu you know just talking to some people from here and like reading how sometimes it's 3 a.m and you just get creative and like to shoot videos when is like everything put together i i know this shit's good of course. And um right. The time to shoot a video, I you go then find out the like somebody will find out I never know what I'm gonna shoot. You never know what you're gonna say today that will be known and I make it something tonight and drop them all you I ain't just the difference with me. Uh he's either a demon on the spectrum or just a complete junkie. Nothing. Planned. You said that music, like in terms of getting paid, it's like the biggest thing in only all your art. Yeah, because that land is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, the mind industry that I chose to be a part of. So it's like I, I accept that I'm in way, but don't be a, 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 a dominant at the same time. You gotta understand that using me as entertainment. At least you get that. It comes self destruction too. Because mm -hmm. I ain't no entertainment. You know, some shit can't be spoke on. Why? My English shit is, is to be continued. Is in terms of like every time it's. I can totally see how dumb people are like, oh my god, he's so deep. Did he just tell me he's talking too much? Of course, it's a fucking ad. He just told an interviewer that he's talking too much. And when all he was doing was asking him hey, questions on, and man, listening to him. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, here we, we, we go. This, this is a really, this is a really uh, fun one because he's like, I want to, I want to turn up. And we like, I was like, oh, load his How did the cops not just stake this place and just bust the people bringing the drugs in and out? Something out of the place like the first two seconds. He said, just load it up. I was like, Who's this guy? Cheese? Is that, I was listening to some song, he was talking about cheese. We don't know if we, we haven't heard it yet. So this is going to be fun because it's all going to be fresh. You said it that one, Clint. Got to engineering for this guy would be, I wouldn't want to say frightening because, you know, but just absolutely annoying as fuck because, you know, you know, he's be like, drop me in here, do this, do this. And if you don't do exactly what he needs you to do right then, he's just going to flip out. This time, man, right around in the drop top with a stolen guy, searching from my eyes. Hold on, hold on. I got my green ass on, trying to get egg, what's happening? 
Punch me in. Say, punch me in. Okay. I'm saying that down, bitch. I get down. I got that shit from my man. I keep that pistol on me, bitch. You don't run up on me. I stamp it. And imagine trying to tell him like, hey bro, your chair, all the squeaking's bleeding into the mic. <laughs> Probably like, what the fuck you say? From the beginning, Jason. Give me your name, say it's more about man. <laughs> Come on, man. You got yeah, me. don't tear me down, Tom. You got me. Fuck, <laughs> dude, I ain't going no talking. <laughs> <laughs> So many kids, man, how you think that I feel? I'm it always blows my mind how many rappers don't know how to use microphones. Like when you see them on stage with the dynamic mic, how they have it just way too far away from their mouth. And even with a, uh, even with the condenser here, like he's going to capture so much. He's going to have to, this mic's going to have to be so hot. It's going to capture all this room noise, even with that little stupid box on it. Is this how the process goes a lot? Yeah, tops tough this year he's been uh he's doing a lot of this all yourself, right, Top? You didn't record no Young Boy, was that just the first time you've heard the beat and then just Who's Top? Somebody tell me who Top is, please. Obviously then no, it's funny. It's funny how when he raps, he's just—it's like he bottles it all up. He talks, he's like, this. and then when he raps, he's like, "Man, dichotomy." That's it. That was it. We just witnessed like how it, some of the process goes. Yeah, but I'm resting right now. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Get, I gotta get in the mode. No writing. No, it's like not bad that it's just you have to write one line. And then I sit there trying to think of it makes me yeah. think too hard. That's like pure emotion. I think that's why a lot of new music sucks because that's how everybody records. They do the the one line punch in method. And so they never really just, you know, they never just catch a natural flow. It just kind of sounds like they throw the autos. I don't know. I just, ugh. Ocean. It's on your heart. It's on your heart. It's just going I got a surprise for you at the end, Todd. Let's see if it flies. I'm ready for it. Is young boy top? Jason, I see you booting on nigga. What the hell? You bitch ass nigga better stay around. Uh, call me whatever you want. Just don't call me. Oh, don't call me. I'm broke. You know, I, you know I can't talk too much. Let that shit go. <laughs> Didn't he just say don't keep the cameras rolling 24 7? <laughs> And dude, the shit goes hard on mute. Look at this fucking white demon. This fucking... <laughs> 
You know, this guy's just collecting that young boy money. He just sees the downfall and destruction of this young black man. And he's acting like, oh, this is fire. Just keep recording this bullshit and keep me on the payroll and I'll dance to it. He knows this is trash. This camera crew is probably like, what the fuck? I thought we came here to do an interview and we were just filming behind the scenes studio, studio footage of this guy now. I could have lived without it, young boy. Wow, I appreciate it. Wow. Thank you. It's like talking to a child. Wow, thank you. I oh, see he has his like sweet moments dude man this guy like he just he needs real friends that's what he needs bro he needs real friends like he's just he's like yearning for just uh, he's just an empty ass soul dude I feel bad for him um. I mean, his music is absolute butt cheeks, but like as a human, I feel bad for him. Ah, oh, man. I don't know how I feel about that one, guys. The search continues. Tap in. <laughs> 